hijabi tutorial hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys everything you need to know to get started with kajabi kajabi is an online tool that allows you to build your own courses membership and so much more so let's get started now to get started with kajabi simply head on over to kajabi.com and then you're going to proceed with your first name and then your last name then go on ahead and enter your email address. Once you do that, click on get started over here. And once you do, you're going to be able to sign up for Kajabi. Now you will get a 30 day free trial with our exclusive link. So make sure to check that out as well. Now, if you scroll down on the left, you're going to choose your plan and then complete your payment info. Now, once you've completed your sign up, this is going to be your basic dashboard on Kajabi. You will see on the left you have a simple menu bar that has different tabs. These tabs allow you to organize all of your bits of information. First off, you have a getting started tab. This tab is a simple setup that is a guided process by Kajabi from where you can start building your audience, adding instructions and more. After that, you have your dashboard. In your dashboard, you're going to get a summary of everything that is happening within your Kajabi account. This includes your community, Kajabi University, Kajabi experts, and more. After that, you have your products. Your products include your courses, your communities, podcasts, coaching that you're providing, newsletters, and downloads. All of those are products. It doesn't matter if those, if those are particular products that you're taking payment for, or if they're free products, they will all fall under products. After that, you have a sales tab where you can manage payments, offers, coupons, and affiliates. Then you have a simple website builder, which allows you to design websites as well as landing pages to better sell your products. Then you have your branded app section from where you can build your own application, get started with marketing, and as well as add your own pre-existing contacts. You can also go into analytics to get a deeper view of the overall conversions and performance of your product, and then a more tab for expert and custom templates. Now let's get started with Kajabi. The easiest way to get started is obviously going to be with their simple setup guide. First off, you have to validate your idea. So first off, you're going to make sure to answer a couple of questions. So this allows you to cover what your podcast or what your course might be about as well as personalize everything according to your site add instructor info information as well as sign up as well as create a wait list for your courses then you can connect your payments and then nicely done your website or your basic course is going to be built so we're going to go with our own setup, which is going to be slightly different, where we're going to go ahead and first build our own course on Kajabi. To do this, you're going to click on all products on the left, and then you're going to click on courses. Once you click on courses over here, simply click on get started. Now, once you click on get started, it's time to start building your course on Kajabi. It's really easy to build a course on Kajabi, especially when you have a basic outline in mind. So first off, you're going to build your title. So let's say this is going to be organizational or let's say we're building a course on content writing 101. And then after that, we're going to add a short description of what the course is about. So all the basic skills you need to write better and then after that we're going to click on next to start building our course's appearance so you're going to choose a primary color for your course and then you can choose your accent colors as well and after that we're going to proceed with our thumbnail if you don't have a thumbnail you can upload one over here after that just click on next and once you click on next you're going to choose the price of your course you can set this up later as well, but if you're going to create a paid course, you do have to connect to a payment method like Stripe or any of the other payment providers available on Kajabi. We're going to skip this for now and we're going to set this up later. Now, once you do that, you will see that Kajabi's actual power or the Kajabi tools power where it's going to start building a tool 
outline. So a basic outline is going to be created for you where you're going to have a simple template to get started with. You will see that it has taken a few different sections and built a couple of different lessons. And these are there are three chapters that it has created or three modules. And within each module, it, it, it has added these three lessons. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to get started with customization and we're going to expand all. And this is what it looks like. Currently, everything is in the draft version. So first off, I'm going to write the first section to be intro to content writing. And then I can add a description to this and you can start adding content. Now, this is just a module. Within a module, you can choose to add content as well. So content is added in the form of either lessons, quizzes, or submodules. We already have a couple of different submodules, a couple of different lessons added. So first off, our first lesson is the importance of good content. And I'm going to change the title a bit to importance of grammar, let's say. And then after that, we're going to connect our media to this. Whether you're recording your lectures in the form of audio files or video files, you can upload them here simply by selecting media and then selecting your files. Additionally, you can even create just simple text based content. So if you don't have any media, you can just attach your text. Then you can choose whether or not you want to add any additional downloads. So if your students should be able to download a lecture or if there is a cheat sheet that you want to provide, you're going to add that in the download section. After that, you have automations. Now, automations can help you in setting up repeating tasks and streamlining your workflow. So you can add simple automations where, let's say, a certain person completes uh, a lesson. After that, you might want it to be followed by a quiz. We can set up repeating tasks like so. Now, once you've set up your first lesson, you will see on the right you have your status. Either your lesson is in the draft format or it is currently published. Now, when you are creating a lesson by the default version, you're going to have a draft lesson and then you can change that to published and then click on save. You can also add individual thumbnails to lessons as well as add comments and you can choose the privacy settings for comments, whether you want them to be visible, hidden or locked. Now, once we've completed this, we're going to click on save and then click back into our course. Now that we have our first lesson, let's say I want to start building the rest of my lessons. So I'm going to just click on the lesson and then proceed with the information. We can add our digital downloads and start building files accordingly. Once you have built a basic structure, you might want to start publishing each lesson that works now. Now, if I want to add further lessons, I will just click on add content, add lesson, and then proceed with my lesson content here. And if you want to add quizzes or submodules, you can do that as well. To add a quiz, simply click on quiz over here. And then you will have your quiz created. You will see on the top, you will have the title of the quiz and then your quiz questions. Now you have different options whenever you're creating quizzes. So you either have short answers, check boxes, multiple choice, or questions where your students have to upload a file. So simply add your question. So what is the correct sentence? And then you're going to add options and then you can add the correct option as well. Then you can also choose whether or not a question is graded. When you're adding multiple choice questions or check boxes, you can make it auto graded where you're not going to have to check all the quizzes yourself. Instead, it will automatically be graded by Kajabi because you have put in the correct answers. So I'm going to add one option, which is going to be she is far away then and then after that i'm going to add another option which is going to be the correct one which is she is far away now and then i'm going to mark this as the correct answer and you can add two options four options however many you like and then once we've added our first question we will see on the top right we can duplicate this question as well or just click on add question and add our new question which is going to be the second one so on and so forth, you can start building your quizzes on Kajabi. Once you do that, you're just going to click on save on the top right. And we're going to remove this empty question like so. And then we're just going to click on save. 
Then you can click on settings. And once you do that, you can alter the title of your quiz. This is going to be my grammar 101 or grammar quiz one. And then after that, we can describe the quiz as well as set a passing grade. So you can set a passing grade. And if you have non graded questions and your quiz is not a graded quiz, you can choose to remove this option. You can also choose to send an email with a link to the results as well as prevent members from marking quiz as complete without a passing grade. Now you can also choose to hide answers on results page. So if you want to discuss a quiz afterwards, you can choose to turn this on. Then you have notifications and automations that you can include and then just click on save. Once you do that, you will be able to go back into your lessons and into your courses. From here, I'm going to set this quiz as a published quiz and I'm going to publish this entire module. Now within individual modules on Kajabi, you're going to see you have the option to drip. Basically allows people to have content access after a certain time. So after a certain num number of days of enrollment, they would have content access instead of having all the content all at once. This is especially helpful when you have larger content, if you have large bits of lessons, if you have a lot of details in your modules and your courses are very, very, uh, very detailed, then you might want to set up a drip time because with, with each member being a new member, if they have access to all the content, they might skip through certain bits as well as feel a bit overwhelmed. So you can choose to choose to display each module after a certain number of days, but we are just going to publish it normally. Once we do that, we can start building our second module. Now, if you want further categorizations, you can build sub modules as well. For that, just click on add content, add a sub module, and then you're going to enter the title of your sub module. So SEO backlinking. Let's say I want to build a separate se section for backlinking. And now we have a submodule and I can add individual lessons and quizzes within the submodule. Once you are satisfied with the entirety of your setup on Kajabi, you're just going to publish all of the content that you have like so. And now once you've published your content, you will see on the top you have the ability to set up announcements as well as view progress. Then you also have the ability to customize the theme as well as the overall template or look of your course. Then you can provide it as a offer. You can also link it to different customers. You can also provide certificates as well as manage the overall settings. Now, once we have created the basic of our Kajabi course, you can see on the top right, we will click on share course. And then once we do that, we're just going to select a offer. Now we're going to click on add new offer. Even if we are selling this for free or providing this for free, we are going to still have to enable the course offer and you will see the products in this offer. And then after that, I'm going to add the offer title, which is going to be content writing basics. And then it's going to include content writing 101. Then I'm going to click on continue. Now you're going to choose whether you want this to be paid or free. If you want this to be paid, click on paid and then click on connect over here. Once you click on connect, a new tab is going to open up. And once the new tab opens up, you will see Kajabi payment settings. Now in this, you will see you have the ability to connect to third party payments or get started with Kajabi payments. Now, depending on Kajabi and whether or not Kajabi payments is available, you might have to opt for third party payments. Click on take me there over here. And once you click on take me there, it will show you all of the different applications you can integrate. And then you're going to scroll down and then go into payment providers. Once you go into payment providers on Kajabi, you're going to click on connect. And once you click on connect, you can connect to your Stripe or PayPal account to start accepting payments. Now we're going to proceed with a free course over here and then set up our button background color like so. Once we do that, we have to choose our button text. So it's going to be learn now. 
because this is a free course I just wanted to say learn now. And then the checkout fields only include the name and phone number of the person. Then after that, if I want to allow customers to consent to the TNC, I don't think there is going to be any TNC for my particular course, but if you want, you can just add the default text and then click on continue. And then you're just going to save and finish. And then we can click on over here and you will see now our course is live. So now this is a published course, which is live, which means that you can see on the top right where you can click on preview and you will see what your course value is. So this is what the course page is. Currently, it is very blank. So once you do this, you're going to edit your checkout or basically start building your course page. So the way that you're going to do this, if you click on edit checkout, you will see your page content like this. Now from here, click on edit and you will have your banner image. You have your action button and all other bits. We're going to click on this content over here. This is going to be learn content writing, writing basics from the best. I want it to have, you know, really bold text. And then after that, we're going to add our call to action statement, which is going to be everything to earn thousands. And then we're going to enter the value points of your course. So why should people be purchasing your course? What are they going to be learning? How is that going to convert into their lives? You can add all of your value points over here, which is going to be better communication and then learn how to write like a pro and then you can add any disclaimers any additional details you might want so on and so forth now other than the basics like this you can scroll down and add videos hero images as well as add a testimonial if you already have built a course then it's really great to make sure to include testimonials about your course if you were offering a similar course then make sure to include those testimonials because those can help building trust within your community on the left you will see your overall design so you can customize that as well as opt for the form fields if you want to add addresses or any other custom bit of information then after that you also have your order bump where you can bundle or add multiple different products together into your cart once you do that just click on get link and then you will see your Kajabi link for your Kajabi selling page. And then you can start using this link to start promoting your offers on Kajabi. Now, this is just one element of Kajabi. Building courses is not all that Kajabi does. You can actually build communities with Kajabi as well. Usually when you're building a certain type of course, you want to include a community alongside it. This just helps you in providing a space for your members to talk to each other. So click on start and then from here you can build communities. Usually I like to build communities on a couple of different broad niches and then people can join accordingly. Now, once you've built your simple course, you might want to go with coaching. Coaching usually can be one-on-one -on -one or even in the form of groups, but it's usually a goal-driven online session. It's not going to be built on pre-recorded lectures. So if you're starting a coaching program, you can start that in the same way as you build courses on Kajabi. And this is how you can get started with course building as well as all other tools on Kajabi. It's really that simple and easy and Kajabi's intuitive platform makes setting up everything a easy breeze. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Kajabi. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you're looking to get started with Kajabi, make sure to click on the description box down below to get a free trial of Kajabi.